Uh, what other stuff? Well, say it. I just recorded. <laughs> Fuck. Well, I can say it. I mean, size doesn't matter, fuckers. <laughs> he made it. He made it. So, uh, I hope I hope everybody knows the context. What we're here for. We're talking about everything E3. I got all of this up here. I have no idea what happened, but one thing. Anyways, so I guess. So I'll just be saying stuff, and then they'll just be reacting, and then we'll, and then we'll come to a consensus on how on how we rate this. But first of all, yeah, we have EA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're doing a really good job. I mean, like, from my... Phenomenal. I've heard... <laughs> okay. I've heard a lot of good things. I've not seen anything, but it, they're amazing. EA did terrible. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they actually had the second worst out of all, all of them. Fuck. <laughs> so we're There goes sorry. my BS. <laughs> there goes my BS. Whoop. Oh. Anyways, <laughs> shout out Mazel to First of all, shout out to Kotaku for having all of these and not copywriting any of my videos yeah. and not being dicks. What as far as I know. As far as I know. For now. <laughs> <laughs> and then he sees his way to this fucker's sees. Oh. Anyways, so Battlefield has a new multi has multiplayer stuff, and not only that, but it has a battle royale mode. Don't give a shit. Oh. Wait, like Solos, or is it like the well, bam, like with everybody, like duos, like squads? We don't know. Oh. oh, okay. I mean, I mean, it's good that they're growing into the battle royale thing because that's like a major thing. COD's doing it. They're doing with it. COD's doing it. Yeah. Wait, do you not know about that? It's Everyone. called Blackout. I have no idea what the fuck is going on. <laughs> so Call of Duty has decided that instead of um single player campaign, what they're taking that out. That they're gonna have a new mode called Blackout. So, that's for starters. But I got, I like the game because of the stories. <laughs> I, can't I love how Neil laughs as a JRPG <laughs> uh, fan. <I'm> sorry. <laughs> hey, you get my pain. <laughs> <laughs> Shit's joking, half it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I can't fucking tell anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so Nick just got out of a, what was it, a four hour shift? Yeah. Dude, I had eight hour, I had like four eight hour shifts and then a two hour shift and then a five hour shift. I did jack shit today. Before. It was empty. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and. Yeah, so here, in a Battle Royale mode, um, that's all I got. Oh, Star Wars has a new game called Jedi Fallen Order, which is a single-player yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not for really Star Wars. a new game, but... Yeah. I'm pretty sure this is the game that literally everyone was complaining was gone, Yeah, and it's just been picked up by a new team. I don't... It's probably not the same exact game, because this game has to have loot boxes and stuff. Well, yeah, that one, no, 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 they, yeah. no, everything with EA is confirmed, no loot boxes, because, because everyone got pissed off. Really? Yep. This is, this That's is, actually crazy. But this is EA I mean, I'll, we're talking I'll, about. I'll, I'll, I'll I know. believe it when I see it. Yeah, exactly. I know. Yeah, exactly. I know how crazy this all sounds, I but like, everything that I've seen and heard, no loot boxes. I don't know, but like, they, they could say that all day, but they could, they could add them as, like, an expansion three months later, Oh. Yeah, sure. I swear yeah. to God, if it, there's friggin' loot boxes, it's gonna be like the YouTube video, you, if Yu-Gi-Oh! was owned by EA. Yeah. You don't want that, that shit. Like, so, so that's or like, they might, they might like, make you pay for characters or something. Yeah. Or like, pay for the second half of the story. You, you don't know yet. It's bullshit. Uh, yeah. The game is an original Star Wars story surrounding a surviving Padawan set shortly after the events of Star Wars 3. Two dollars is named Sean Connor. I hope so. Star Wars Battlefront 2 is dealing with the Clone Wars. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it will add heroes including General Grievous, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and Anakin Skywalker. It's a good idea on pen and paper, I think. Just, uh, I hope they execute it well. Then you have this game. On oh, that, this game. Did, did you hear about the first one? I, had I, I saw the first awesome. one. I love it. No. 
Sad thing, though, and I think that this is dumb. I want you to look at the colors of my Joy-Cons and then look at the colors of those and tell me that this would be a great game on the Switch. Yeah, tell me I'm telling. Guess where it's not coming to? Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, man. Am I honestly the only one who just doesn't see how terrible of an idea? Like, like this should be exclusively on the Switch. Yeah, exclusively. I don't, I don't, I don't not exclusively. It came out on PlayStation before. Yeah. So. I thought it was but PC I mean, first. Was it? That's fun. No, no. It, it, it was, was it was Xbox and PC. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, no, Xbox and... and yeah, I, 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 yeah, so it's PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Yeah, and you can yeah. play it right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Other than that... I'm really disappointed just because of that. But that was, like, the one... There were two good games at E3. There was this one... Unravel 2, and this one, which was Sea of Solitude, because they're both not actually made by EA, they're EA's indies. You see, but like, that, that doesn't mean a lot. It's still EA. They can still tell them what to do. Yeah, it's like, it's That's just true. like a branch. So yeah. basically, there was, like, so much, like, weird shit that happened during, like, this trailer. It, it looked very interesting. It's gonna come out in early 2019, and, um, it looks cool. So I can really say, I mean, we can see a trailer later, and uh, your mom's calling you. Man. Oh crap! She knows you're here, though. <laughs> yep. Oh shit. Oh shit! That was the third missed call. I, I can't believe it. Okay. Whoops. Well, you're gonna keep talking. <laughs> oh, so here's a mobile game. I am um, here. Sorry. <laughs> 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 was that it? Yeah. <laughs> it was a little threat, but uh, that's it. It was a little what? You know, like a little threat, like yeah. you don't do this again or don't whatever. Do this again. Yeah. I can just like imagine your dad just being like, don't okay. Don't do this again, Mickey. Okay. <laughs> so, anyways, this this is a uh, Command and Conquer is on mobile. It's an RTS, I think. Oh, okay. It's cool. It looks stupid. Okay. <laughs> right. yeah, well, all mo like, mobile games all stupid. No, no, I get it, I get it. Yeah, Dude. they're all stupid. They're all stupid. His <laughs> opinions <laughs> just get blown up. <laughs> it's you. Anyways, Anthem <laughs> is also a thing. I feel like Nick is very hesitant to say something yeah, else. I, am, <laughs> I thought this I'm looks cool. Hold yeah. on, I thought this looks cool. The game was gonna be shit, man. I'm telling you. Right Jack now. thought it looked stupid. Yeah, the game was gonna be shit. I'm okay. telling you. That so telling so with you. Anthem, yeah. I'm very in, nothing at EA impressed me, but some things intrigued me, like this. Okay. Um. So I'm not gonna personally buy the game, but I'm gonna wait for reviews. I just I don't want to be that guy, but I'm gonna do it. Just saying you're interested and you're intrigued is the same thing. So if you said that, yeah, okay, yeah, I'm with me on that. Okay, right. so that <laughs> I have I have freaking... one difference. Interested means I want to buy this game. <laughs> Intrigued <laughs> means I want to see this game. Wrong. But those two words are synonyms of They're each the other. They're the same word. Okay. Shut the fuck. Up. <laughs> I fucked up a couple of times. Now it's your turn to fuck up. A couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> that is Neil's turn. I fucked up a couple of times. <laughs> okay. Oh. I'm intrigued. I don't want. Okay. All right. Okay, you got it now. Yeah. Yes, okay. I am intrigued and interested to see what this game has to offer. But I don't want to actually buy this game. Okay. Anyway, continue. <laughs> Anyways, they uh, they said they'll be adding things for years to come. Oh, right here. There will be no loot boxes in this game, not a huge surprise. Yeah, so there's gonna be like somewhat kind. There's gonna be some kind of paywall. It's gonna be DLC, like, go find a way. And literally, this is what Jack told me earlier. We saw a gameplay demo that looks like a th the same third person Destiny ish gameplay we've, we've already seen. Oh. So. Um, other than that, their Origin Access premiere, uh,. You have a bunch of EA games you can play. Prob probably one of those being a way out. Yeah. And that was a cool game. That I like. So, that's for, for starters. Um, and then they show their sports games. The Madden stuff is going to PC. 
Finally. Finally. Wait, it's not on PC? Nope. Oh. Not on PC? Is Deep on PC? Yep. Yeah, so just on Madden. Oh, that's what I was thinking. And they showed uh, some Sims stuff. Like a new Sims or like? DLC. Oh, DLC. Okay. Anyways. You're going to a real company. I gave EA mm -hmm. a two. Um, a two missing Joy Cons out of ten. Two out of ten. That's pretty low, well, okay. That makes sense, though. They've been enough, right? But, uh, anyways, let's, uh, let's move on really quickly. We got Microsoft. Yay! Something tells me that we should really skip this. No! No, for right now, oh, because... Yeah, yeah that, that one's really long. Oh, okay. Because yeah, like, that one's really, really long, and I said, and, and in my opinion is... I really liked the EA stuff. Okay. I mean, I, I mean the Microsoft stuff. So I really don't want to like so miss out the best on for last. That. So we're, no, we're not yeah. saving the best for last. What we're doing is we're switching the Square Enix. Yeah, who Square is Enix. only going to take me five minutes? Oh, yeah. okay. Who is only going to take us five minutes? And we're just going to make sure that when Smash goes on, gets goes on the TV, I unmute the TV, I turn this off, and we can just have the five that did at least okay yeah. on for when yeah. Jack comes back too. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's for starters. So everything Square Enix shown. So basically, this is Just Cause. Just Cause is... Oh, no, no, Just Cause. Oh, uh, four? Okay. Shadows of the Tomb Raider had uh, expanded stealth options. They showed this during Microsoft's, by Wait, the way. Wait, hang on. Is that a new game? Yep. Okay. That's, that's the third one in okay. the new one. Yeah, is that a lion? That is a jaguar. But it has a mane. Yeah, it looks like a no, lion no, no, no. here. If oh, you come wait. closer, you see the spots. Oh, no, yeah, it's a panther. It's oh, like a panther. okay, all right. Yep. That makes sense. They didn't so, know jaguars and panthers are the they same started, thing. <laughs> no, they no, started with a look at Ed Edos Montreal's A Shadow of the Tomb Raider. It's a, it, it looks like a stealth game, uh, sneaky. We kind of knew like the, that was the battle mechanic of the last one. Yeah. I like the last one, too, um, so I have high hopes for this John one. John Rambo, uh, it's like... You're kind of, I think, more there, and then it says the biggest hubs ever created in a Tomb Raider game, and also there are more tombs than ever. Um, I think this is going to be cool, um, and I but I wish I played more of the other games. Of what? Uh, Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider. Yeah, Tomb Because I, I played the first one, I haven't played through the second one. I do want to, though. So maybe during the Steam Summer Sale, I'll buy it. Third one, I want to buy. So. I played the one before this one. It was I liked it a lot. Rise. That yes. Was, yeah. Then they showed more of Cap uh, Awesome Adventures of Captain Spirit, which looked... I didn't like it. It looks like a kid with the Thanos glove. Who asked for that? But like oh, this is part of man. the Life is Strange series. Oh, okay. Uh, this is, it says that it will connect oh, to right, Life is Strange yeah, yeah. Season 2. I remember seeing the... Uh, and, uh, yeah, I don't really know how they played, but... Wait, no, no, but for real, go back, go back up. Okay, you can't tell me that golden thing from a faraway distance looks like a baseball mitt as if it was designed as Thanos' glove. Yeah, I can see it. Okay. Okay, good. I thought I was... Then there was Babylon's crazy. Fall, which very confused me because this is supposed to take place in tw in 5,000 current era, but Wait. It's, it's it's medieval. Wait. Yep. Makes sense? No, no, 5,000 no. years. No, no. The year 5,000. The year 5,000. The year 5,000. medieval. The setting is still medieval. For Wait. Some so is it like... So maybe there's a reason, you know. Maybe there's a story reason. Like, is it like? Get wiped if out I don't again? know, why should I care? No, I'm just trying to make sense of it. Is it like medieval, like five, year five thousand medieval, where there's like technology, but it's no, like no, no, no. shaped it's into it's like the medieval? year five thousand. No, 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 no. I know, I know. Okay, okay. But it's like, is it like medieval theme? That's what I'm saying. Or is like, it the... just like you know swords and shields and like horseback? That's what I was yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw. I mean, I don't really <laughs> know. I like, like, like if you stuff. see, like, these people here, they only have swords and stuff. Yeah, but, like, that's just, that could just be fantasy. That doesn't necessarily mean... Also, it, yeah, I mean, we don't know. Also, it is given by Platinum, who made Bayonetta, Vanquish, and, uh, Nier Automata. Oh, good people. Also, good Nier people. Automata coming to Xbox One. That's true. So, there's a possibility it comes out to Switch, and DLC for Smash could be to be. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm at the point, though, I don't, I don't really want her for Smash anymore. Mm -hmm. I want her for a different game. Okay. Wait, which one? Uh, please, Blue Cross Tag. Yeah. I hate her for that. Just Cause is all about the weather. Uh, they're doing weather stuff. Uh, um, they're, uh, it sets up in a fictional uh, South America with blizzards, sandstorms, lightning, and tornadoes. So, has it always been weather-based? Just Cause? Uh, I don't know anything about that. Because I don't know. I played Just Cause 2, and I don't think so. 
Okay. I, I don't know. Um, apparently, um, it was exact. Uh, there was Three issues seconds. with Just Cause Three's combat, okay. but there was Just Cause Three stuff. Okay. Um, also, they show this thing called the Quiet Man, uh, okay. which was uh, a guy that was deaf and he started kicking people's asses. I didn't like it as much. Oh, so it was like Daredevil. Kind of, I oh. guess. Okay. Um, and then that was it. There was also Final Daredevil. Fantasy fourteen. Under the Moonlight, uh, Monster Hunter Crossover, a uh, new trailer for Dragon Quest uh, Eleven, and another thing for Octopath Traveler. Okay. Which, oh, by the way, Nintendo announced Yay. that there was going to be um, an Octop new Octopath Traveler demo. Okay. That 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 this and that and that saved da data will be in the D and that saved data you can bring to your your uh, Octopath Traveler uh, game when you buy it. Okay. Um, there was no news on the Final Fantasy stuff or Final Fantasy VII. There was nothing. Oh, right. Not they're a making, SWAT. They're this a rating gets that. a one, um, a one never coming out game. Okay. Out of what? Out of ten. ten. Okay. All right. Okay. That was not fair to me. So, uh, yeah, and then we will, uh, because it's five. Are they? Yeah, it is. It's, the Splitting Tournament is over now. They just finished the grand final. Thing. So, Did they really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyways, so I guess so. Um, so we we have Microsoft, Bethesda, Ubisoft, Sony, and Nintendo that we will wait for Jack for. Yay! Plus, I mean, those are ones that I think Jack would be more interested in anyway. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we will stop here. We're taking our little intermission for the Smash Tourney, and then we'll be back afterwards. Mm -hmm. Bye. Right. What our worst from our sponsor? Choking out somebody and stabbing them in the throat. Right. I hope you know that's how I started the recording. That's fine. That was a fucking great. That's a kink right there. And then the video ends <laughs> with the transition of her like killing yeah. someone. It goes behind her head again, and it's back to her kissing the girl. She's like, see. There. So actually, fun fact: we have to make this three parts for us recording because we also have to go get pizza. Yeah. <laughs> but 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 we knew that this might take us long, and it takes. Like, what, 15 minutes to get the pizza? Yeah. Somewhat long, yeah. though. Okay. I check it regularly. Um, I'll have to do this. Unless you got the... Uh, unless you got I the mean, you could just show them. I mean, not really. Oh, yeah. Because, like, it says... Alright, just... Alright, let's get into this. Okay, so first of all... Um... Sony showed us a handful of games, including The Last of Us, Spider-Man... Oh, shout out to Kotaku. Yeah, Spider-Man! Spider-Man! Because uh, we still Ooh, are mom. using uh, Kotaku. You're the one tall at Spider-Man? Yeah. Pretty cool. They showed us uh, some things about The Last of Us 2. Um, first of all, they showed us... Um, There's a bunch of brutal gameplay in it. Like, like she like fucking like shit. Like some, someone like looked under the car where she was hiding and she dropped him in the head with a gun. And like, she, So like, who wants to talk about the guy with the banjo? Because I do. I don't, um, I don't remember the guy with the banjo. I remember. <laughs> All I know is that that took out a lot of people, like, with the banjo, including myself. Because I'm like, why do we have to go on these tangents of music? I understand. Yeah, that's like, random. I feel like... I feel like, like, artistic, and it's, like... It's, like, stupid. You know, you know what would have been a really cool idea if, while it was playing, then maybe you had well, the banjo? Well, because that's what they did at E3 2016. Yeah. All the music you heard was live orchestra. Like, in the, like if you watch the God of War premiere... It was live music. See, that's cool. That was it. Everyone loved That's why they won that year. This time it was like, all right, I get that you're setting the tone for each game, but, like, come on. Yeah. I mean, I was surprised we didn't get, like, a rock or, like, a metal thing for uh, Spider-Man or something. Or we should have gotten something for Spider-Man. Like some pop or punk. Yeah, like pop, pop rock. Made more sense to be, yeah, and then, and then we didn't get, like, some crazy heavy metal shit for Death Stranding because that's still very confusing. I don't know, though. Death Stranding seems like that sort of, like, eerie music. Dude, every time that little shoulder thing, wing, 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 that's so ominous. Fucking baby, like, I, I still don't. I want to know. It gave the did, thumbs up she, again. But she ate, like, the... The bug. Oh. Yeah, she, the she, the like, baby showed its butt this time. Oh. It spun around in the uterus and then did the... Well, can oh. we, um... In the stomach, anyways. stomach. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, right, anyways, anyways, they have. probably have uteruses. So, yeah, it would have been, it would have been cooler <laughs> if it was, like, a live orchestra instead of, like... A six-minute thing of one person playing the thing. 
I bet all the characters are like, I'm but, out. Um, well, some call me Johnny actually tweeted out while the guy with the flu was playing. He goes, I guess I'll go back to Pornhub for now. <laughs> and then when they when they showed the title for uh, Ghost of uh, Tsushima, Rab and Luigi wrote, that's a weird way to spell Spider-Man. <laughs> so, um, so basically... We don't know if... So, Ellie's, like, a teen now, right? She's probably in her, like, late, late teen years. Probably probably in her 20s. Like, she's probably 20. That's oh, what they said here. We got to see teenage slash 20-something Ellie hanging yeah. out with yeah, a friendly she was gathering. Like and or 14 in the first game. Oh, and, and this is know, year, This is years after. She's white. She has tattoos and everything. Oh shit! She's been Joel also, Joel's an older guy now. Yeah, Joel dead? No, he's alive. Okay. The guy I mentioned, he's like um, your old man. Yeah, yeah, so, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so Joel's still okay. checking. So um, but uh, her. So that's crazy. That like so. There, there was like some Glenn-looking dude from The Walking. Oh yeah, Dead. they had an Asian guy with black hair. In a zombie apocalypse, that's Glenn from The Walking Dead. And if Glenn has one of anything, he will be likable and his death will be gut And from my understanding, her ex, his ex, the, the girl, uh, was the girl. No, the Asian was dating a girl, and that girl was the one that Ellie was kissing. Yeah. And then oh, it cuts. Jesse. Jesse was the Asian guy's name. Jesse. And then it cuts to her slitting the guy's throat. Yeah. She's like holding him down. Yeah. It, was, it was like, oh, this is really sweet. They're kissing Ellie found some. Oh my god, she's fucking destroying this guy. It was dope. Oh. She made an explosive arrow. Um. She actually. She... Dang. So, also, we found out that there's more of a stealth aspect to this game. Yeah, like she was, like, hiding behind cars and under them and, like, in shrubbery and, like, hiding through, like, a, like a mini mart. That was, like, those options. But once, options. but once, well, I mean, the first game kind of had that. Yeah, too. I was say the same but thing, once you do the shooting and all that stuff, you lose that like stealth, and you have um, to like, unless gain you it back. That's I mean, but that's unless like, you run. That was kind of the same thing with like in the first game because like if you ended up attacking one of the like, the it was wrong. always better to stealth. But you exactly, kinda, it would you had to fight a whole yeah. bunch of them. Like, yeah, so like it's still there. But like it's just, definitely, they showed off stealth more. Definitely like, so, like, using. So definitely during the arrow stuff, like you could sh you could be more stealthy, but with a gun, you're they're gonna hear. Yeah, it. they had like arrows, but like you don't get a lot of arrows, and like you'd have to go retrieve them from the body. But what if they're out in the open? What if you make arrows? Oh, oh real know. quick, I don't know if you guys noticed. To bring it to uh, Resi Two, Resident Evil Two, if you notice at the beginning of the trailer, in front of the TV is an original PS One. Mm -hmm. Oh, I yeah, see. it's and it, it's there, and then you see the controller, you're like, you're yeah. not slick. And you're like, but, you uh, are. That's clever. But anyways, after... So who... Who are they fighting, exactly? Who is she fighting? Uh, it's implied that it might be... A lot of people thought it was the remnants of the Fireflies. Okay. Because... That's who I because, thought it was. Yeah, but then, like, those... The Fireflies never did that mass lynching shit that these people are doing. So, so maybe I, these are radical Fireflies? No, nah, a lot of... But also, the Fireflies are probably gone now because Joel wiped them out the end of the first one. But you don't think there's, like, a few survivors? Well, that was the theory, because he told Ellie that the the uh, Fireflies didn't use her for a cure because they found out she couldn't be the cure. When uh, the reality was, she was the cure, but she would die if they extracted it from her. So Joel was like, no, I'm not gonna lose her, and destroyed everyone. He killed the doctors, he killed the leader, and a bunch of other people. So, like, does she not know that she has a Well, cure? The, the working did because in the first trailer, She's on the bed, she just killed a bunch of people, said, I'm gonna find them, I'm gonna kill every last one of them. So a lot of people were like, what if she learned what the Fireflies were gonna do to her? Yeah, she and we're her. like, oh, fuck. But, like, right now, it's like, it seems more like there are these people that are hurt, it, that are, like, actively going around being, like, these fucking nutjobs that hang you and gut you. And, she, and they probably killed someone she really cares about. Right. And she's probably like, yeah. Because, like, I was like, what why would she be that mad at the Fireflies? She wanted to be the cure, because she knew Joel was lying when he said that she wasn't the cure. What oh, if? Knew, yeah, she was like, "Tell me the truth," and she just accepted it. She's like, "All right, what am I gonna do?" Yeah, it's the apocalypse. So, um, I think that um, they killed her, or they killed Joel, like hit her girlfriend. Right. Well, at that point, her girlfriend. Yeah, well, like no, but what if that's a flashback? Well, okay. no, because on the bed, because when she's on the bed, I'm like, I'm gonna kill every last one of them. Joel is there. He says, "What are you doing, kiddo? Are you really gonna go through with this?" Yeah. So I, th I think he's alive. Right. No, but what about the girlfriend? Though? But he, she might be dead. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, it goes back to the kissing scene, and like the thing was is that she said, "I I I'm truly terrified no, of." No, she because the because the girl because Ellie when she's dancing with the girl, she's like, "Every guy in here is looking yeah, at you." Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, the girl's like, "Oh no, they're looking at you." She's like, "What?" She goes, "No, they're." 
She's like, oh no, they're not looking at me. She goes, what if they're jealous of you? And she's like, what if they're terrified of you, Ellie? You know, the fact that like, damn it, that girl's gonna steal my girl. And then she kisses her, and then that goes to the thing, and then when it cuts back to Dan, she goes, see? They're terrified of you. Because she just kissed Ellie, and like, oh, there go your chances, guys. She there likes girls. There go your chances. She's a lesbo, even and, though and she dated the, fact the that one Ellie dude. just like, mur- like, the way she killed the guy, she fucking like, got him in the throat with her machete, and like, Maybe even cut his head off afterwards. So oh. I was like, see? Terrified. Dang. So Ellie is not someone to be trifled with. Clearly. Yeah. Okay. She's also immune to any bite. Yeah. She's kind of giant. Well, that's why she's right the cure. Sh- it doesn't do anything. Well, that's why she's the cure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But the fireflies and the do- only people um, who knew about her I'm going to see dead. if it, it's down here somewhere. Um, All right, here. Wait, check on the pizza. No. no. Oh, okay. No, 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 it's okay. Okay, okay go on. Keep I will going, check on the pizza. No, go on. Oh my god. We're on bake. See if I can the ten minutes. Okay, so it says uh, we got we got a Black Ops four thing. Um, and if you pre if you get uh, you'll get free maps on Black Ops three if you pre order Black Ops four. Mm-hmm. But PlayStation Plus, <laughs> you play and you can get it for with PlayStation ever. Plus. Um, you can get Black Ops three for for free. <laughs> Right now. Get Black Ops 3 for free. How about that? Ooh. I don't want to get it, though. That game looks terrible. Um, also, we got some looks at um, a couple of games like um, Desti- uh, Destiny 2 Forsaken had their trailer. There was also Days Gone was shown, and we got a release date. That's in February, I think. And um, Days Gone wants to be last of us. And they didn't show the trailer for here, but it was during the actual performance, but but the people that made um, Rick and Morty are making a PS4 game called Trover Saves the Universe. That doesn't look Ooh. funny at all. Like, honestly, it, it just... It had, like, a shitty version of Rick and Morty humor. Oh. Like, it had that humor, but it was like, alright, try something different, please. Mm. Um, and then... Okay, that, that, that's interesting. Okay. Then we got the Ghost of Tsushima dude, who was on the Shaku Hachi. That's the name of the... The the flute. Sakuhashi. Sakuhashi? Sakuhashi. Yeah, yeah, yeah Which, it, was, it was like this long ass like flute with a name. And it's called that, I didn't know that. Sakuhashi. But I, um yeah, as for this game, um The Witcher vibes were strong, uh which developed by Infamous. Yeah, maybe um, I can make Infamous. Studio uh Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch. As soon as I saw that I was okay. like What? It was like them? We got another infamous. So this is so this is like so this is during feudal Japan. No, I think it's China. No, it, it's, 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 it's feudal, feudal Japan. Japan. I, I looked it up. Oh, yeah. Okay. I China. looked it. Oh, actually, okay. Jack, remember that thing that you said you were like really pissed off at like one YouTuber about uh, Roger's face. Yeah. yeah, I did that with Ghost of Tsushima. It's fine. They weren't saying anything. There's this one YouTuber. It's like something will get announced, and while they're explaining it, he'll go on his phone. Come back and go. Wait, wait. What happened? Well, um, actually, goes, I don't get it. Like, I that one makes sense because they're not explaining anything. I understand. Well, I was in, Well, something. I was looking it up after Ghost of Tsushima. It was during the control trailer. Oh. Yeah, no, that's fine. Thank you. Okay, yeah. not a big game. But uh, like, smash it, like, what are you doing? Also, like, it was very interesting because the character definitely seems like. Justice. He fights for his like like he's definitely like a person that's just like I fight for justice. He is the mission. So he's a mo- he's like their modern day Batman. You could say. Like yeah, it's because like he was seeing some guy and this woman was like he like killed my family. But, but he's this, like, we need him. Yeah. So yeah, he's he's but very this, mission oriented. Okay. Yeah, and like but she was yeah, like I mean, a really close yeah, friend yeah, of hers, and then she realized I'm not doing this for the right reasons. Yeah, she was, like, trying to find him. She's like, I don't want him dead. So this is... Because, like, he didn't kill her. She's like... This is definitely, like, an honor-based game. I like... Oh, But that's the Samurai. It's kind of, like... You know, we're talking about that shit. Literally. And we will have another Samurai game to talk about. Which did look... Like, like, I think that game did look cool. Samurai Jack? They're very, like... No. Brutal and, like... It was made by the people that made Dark Souls, though. But this is very, like, true. Okay, so... That's fine. It's during Microsoft's... Like, we are... Yeah, we are, like, the knights of... Any trailer I think is good, I'll show you, but... Oh, God. Okay. So... That's what we do. But not on here, but, like, you know what I mean. No, I get you, I get you. Like, the way he fucking... And people, you just... 
And then you just... Yeah. yeah. They were... Like, they were I'm not gonna lie, I laughed during the scene, like, during my, during my reaction, I laughed during the scene when he stabs the guy when he sees the girl that, like, shot the arrows. He just, like, <laughs> stabs him, and he just rips it out. He just cleans the blade. Yeah. That was always about it. He just... And, um... Uh, yeah, it's it's during Feudal Japan, that's cool, but it's probably not coming out till late 2019. So... I mean, maybe... So we're probably gonna get another look at that, same with Last of Us 2. Yeah. Those two games are this gen. Death Stranding is definitely next gen. I mean, I could see Death Stranding like, like this... I could see it like I, December. I think, could be, yeah. I think you could be... I think Death Stranding could be, uh... Like December, maybe this January. This gen and next gen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In that, in that transition. December, January, that game's but fucking beautiful. If it's not... Either yeah, it's it, probably it like tells me that 2019. You know, all the games it could be. I don't like, know, but like they Cyber did show Punk? a gameplay trailer. Yeah. Oh yeah, I saw that. But like all of like I mean, like Kojima, like, like, like yeah, with Kojima and yeah, his visual like, no, affection, he yeah. may have to delay the game I'm until the next gen games are the next gen consoles are out. It might be a launch title for both of for the PS4, for the PS5. I don't care what that's what I don't care if you don't fight anything. Yeah, along with the PS4, except people will get it for the PS. For because it's not like the fucking Wii U. Yeah. Wait, is it con- is it confirmed to go on Xbox? Because I know. No. Oh, all right, because I, I think it might be. PlayStation I think it's PlayStation only, only because, because it's being uh, shown. PlayStation yeah. backs uh, Kojima Productions. Yeah. They're the ones that fund him essentially. So, he's, so you know, he'll probably be all right. You scratch my back, I'll scratch okay. yours. We also got to look at, at Control, control which you are a girl, and you play with control. psychic powers. Essentially. Oh, so oh that's when you like mess. Oh, that's yeah. that's I remember. I immediately went. This is PlayStation's version of Quantum Break. Jack. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, Jack. That's mad. That's yeah, <laughs> There Wait, was one more I had to show you. Remember That's what you funny. said about the one? I'm trying to remember which game. Oh, Anthem. Remember Anthem? Yeah. They also wrote on here that it looked like Destiny 2. Yeah. yeah. Yep. That's what they are. This, yep. this is Quantum Break. That's Destiny. Except this one's messing with physics instead of time, and the other one's third person instead of um, first person. I kind of hope Anthem's better than Destiny, because Destiny there was not. Anthem? There's, Anthem there's, I don't know, okay. there's like no proof. Anthem that like looks... Yeah. No, I know, I know, I know, yeah. I know, I know, but I'm just like, yeah. well, they did, well, they did say that there was no loot boxes, but that's what they said. But it's EA. No, I thought they said there were, but it was only cosmetic. No. Oh, well, that's weird. They could yeah, have a bunch of No, that's, yeah. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah. I mean, that's what I thought that, um... I, I think... thought that that was actually a good idea for Smash Bros., but you guys went off on me. Nah, because, like, nah, I don't know, Smash Bros. doesn't seem like it needs that's to be boxes. No, 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 like, Smash Bros. I don't mind if, like, so... games do it. Like, I don't mind if it's DLC, because they like, know what they're getting. So it's like, oh, do I want to buy those colors? Sure, and you put That's fine, but, like, loot boxes? No. Actually, no, actually, yeah, like, the Overwatch thing. Either. No, I just, I think it would be a good idea, but that's only because I liked the, I liked the, what, what Overwatch does. You, nah, after you fun. level, like, I feel like after you, like, like you have, like, a leveling system for Smash, and then you could do that. A, that for right? for, for me, a loot box, why adding a system for a system like that? Yeah, for Overwatch, that works. That's exactly the loot the box thing. Yeah. But, it's incentive to but for a lot of other people, they wouldn't like it. Yeah, exactly. Which is, which is what Jack and Miller are talking about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I, I would like it better saying. maybe if you had like a coin system and you could buy it. Maybe uh, skins. I, I, I just don't, don't like. Well, I don't think it would make sense for you. You've had well, like even for like but, skins, but, like, but, but you, you can, can pick your skin immediately. Why for yeah. four games? And now you're suddenly like, no, you need to play the game this many times so you can buy one. When no, you get, just so that you could have a chance of getting. Yeah, or like even like, even if like the coin system, like all right, yeah, you can know which one you get, but if you just use coins on it, like I don't like that either. Well, like what is that one? Like the, what if you can unlock them I mean, in the like game trophies. anyways, yeah. but if no. you have, like, the coin game that they normally have... No, actually, I, I don't mind if, like, by just playing, like, the versus mode online, did you just get coins and you could use those to buy extra stuff? That's cool. You yeah, I, okay, so that, okay. What, if, what if they do that? Yeah, what if they do that? that? That'd be fine, because yeah. I play games that do that, and I don't mind that. I and, like, they that. keep adding in, like, free, free yeah, like, skins just, and stuff into just the buy, game. Wait, guys, this is a Sony door. Shit. Alright, so uh, back to Okay, whatever. What is a Nintendo? Let's go. Okay, okay, whatever. It's okay. We also gotta look <laughs> at the Resident Evil 2 remaster, which comes out on January 25th, 2019. Etika was fucking hilarious. As soon as the rat died, he goes, They killed Ratatouille! <laughs> he Actually, he Ratatouille is Ratatouille. confirmed to be in Kingdom Hearts 3. Oh, shit. For How about real? that? So yeah. really? that Fun fact. He used to wig me out as a little kid. No, um, but yeah, Resident Evil 2, you guys uh, excited for that remaster? I mean, yeah. it's cool, I won't buy it. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I mean, I'll definitely, like, 
look at clips and like when I saw. I it, mean, I was like, it might. Hey, I don't. We well, this game could also come out on Xbox. We don't know. Yeah, it might I, just. Because I, I, I know this is when Resi was good. Resi stopped being good after four. Mm. I thought it was after. Was five. that the one on the GameCube? No, yeah. Okay. Five is the one where you need. I like, thought I, I heard games. seven was good. Yeah. No, seven is good, but like five and six are atrocious. Okay, yeah. And those were like, that was a span of like six or seven years, and then another like three or four with nothing. Yeah. Right. And then seven. Uh, yeah, Kingdom Hearts uh, is getting um, some Pirates of the Caribbean stage now. Okay. It's, it ha- it's coming back. Yeah. It was in two. Was it? And really? also, yeah. Pirates of the Caribbean was in two. And uh, my boy Jack Sparrow oh, actually sense. looks really good. That. Oh, it's oh, great to be a pirate it? again. Yeah, I love that Jack Sparrow really is back. Good. But I, but like he looks really good. He does. And they're doing it based on Pirates of the Caribbean three. Because in the opening with uh, uh, the Black Pearl going over the desert sea. Because a bunch of crabs are carrying it over. That movie is trippy as fuck. Well. Um, also, really also, I we'll probably that. talk. We'll, I'll me- a- actually that part I'll mention it. during um, um, what is it? Uh, Xboxes, because I think they revealed that it was gonna be um, so uh, that uh, about Frozen. I think that's when they revealed it. Yeah, the Xbox. But it is Fox still Frozen. delayed. Mm-hmm. But it is still delayed to 2019. 2018, my ass. Fuck Anyways. Next up, we had uh, Death Stranding, which I um, need it. Looks a little weird. Oh, oh, game flight. Like, oh, my no. thing was that <laughs> a baby inside a man's stomach gave us a thumbs up twice, and it and it was in order to see these like weird invisible things. Oh, the uh, the mo- I forget what they call them, but I know they they said like. If they eat you, you survive, but it causes, like, a fucking massive crater around the world, and if they touch you, you age rapidly. Oh, shit. Like, in the the last year, the one guy was getting touched, he went, like, 60 years in, like, Mm -hmm. five minutes. You know, from having, like, flowy black hair to, like, like, strainy gray hair. And and that's why you have the baby, I'm guessing. I I think the baby is to, like, protect you. Yeah. I don't. I, I don't know. I don't. Uh, this is. It's he, weird. He plugged it in when he said he was. It is super by them. super weird. I am. My thing is. I don't. I just don't know. Like this is. This is weird. I feel like that's something you just need to experience. I yeah. Oh, uh, we got a neat. Like it's a, like a trip. We got a. We got a Neo Two trailer. The yeah, oh Neo, Neo Two yeah. Um. Souls. <laughs> It looked cool. Yeah, uh, cool. I didn't. I, I was just like, wait, I know this game. I feel like I've seen it before, and this shows up. I'm like, oh fuck! I remember. I was like, oh wow, Isaiah like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't know. Uh, I, w- I wish that we uh, we we knew who that was because now he doesn't. We don't. We don't. We don't even know. Where him. is he? Yeah, I know, right? He's in space. Um. Okay, and He's then Spider Man looks great, and oh my uh, god, Spider Man. <laughs> They showed a bunch of villains, and uh, Sasuke plays him. Yeah, and, uh, oh, we've known that for a long time. Wait, who's the voice of Spider-Man Man in this game? Did they say yet? What? Who's the voice of Spider-Man and Peter Parker in this game? Yuri, Yuri Lowenthal. The guy who you plays Sasuke. Sasuke. Oh, shit. No, the guy, Sasaku. Sasuke. He does not. Really? Sasuke. Let's fact check this. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. The guy who... Are you kidding really? me? That was Sasuke. That, I don't think so. Yes. Sasuke. Okay, good. Yuri Lowenthal. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm like, you're wrong. God fucking hell. I watched that shit dub. Yeah, so did I. Yeah, Not only Lowenthal. that... Yeah, that's, that's, our, that's our sign that... Well, we're, we're almost done. Yeah, yeah. So it doesn't yeah, really matter. Fuck. Alright, fine. Alright, so right. Yuri Lowenthal. Suzaku. Sasuke. Spider-Man. And Mark. He's also oh, Mark. Oh, shit, Mark, too. Mark. Yeah, and Mark is uh, he's also, voiced in English in this He's game, also so. a yeah, guy in Bayonetta. Nina. Okay. Yeah. As soon as I yeah, saw him, I'm really like, sad. I went, Nina, me te cook The guy that sells the guns? Really sad. Like, no. Help, he's I like some kid. It. The black guy? No, no, Who? he's white. Who? In Bayonetta. He's, uh, he's some white kid. Oh. Um, Black and then, the keeper of the gates of hell. Yeah, oh, and then, game. and basically they showed, like, a bunch of villains, and, I mean, I was gonna get this game anyways, but now I'm like, I need uh, this I was, game. I was like, like, I got a lot of if they show Kingpin, they didn't show the new Rockstar Yeah, we don't games, know so really who it is. No, if, if the main guy's Kingpin. I don't think it's Kingpin, though. Like, for the Sinister Six, I mean, they were all power up, so I feel like it would have to be Doc Ock or Green Goblin. Yeah. A lot of people were saying Venom, but I'm like, I don't I think mean, what if it's the Sinister Six, and then somebody else 
hired. Them. This is true. Yeah, but that's like, why, that's why but I was thinking the, like Kingpin or Osborne. Yeah, but I was like, but like they didn't show the sixth one, so that makes me think they're the ringleader. But then again, where someone's ringleading the whole team and like they're leading. Them. And what happens if there's outlier villains here and there? Yeah, or if it's like Mis- uh, Mr. Mysterio just well, controlling he's, them. He's well, oh, yeah. he's part of them. He's yeah. one of them. Yeah. Well, I mean that would be a cool twist and, that he's like, um, secretly the leader. Yeah, yeah. And also during I guess their post conference, they showed. This game called uh, Deck Cursine for the VR that's made Deck-er-scene. by the people. Deck Cursine that was made by the people that make uh, that from software. Oh, Dark Souls. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they, they, we all. Well, there is another dark. There is another game that is made by the Dark Souls people too. So that we'll be talking about during Microsoft. Yay! So and that was the Samurai game. Um, but yeah, other than that, anything else to mention about uh, PS4? It Sony? did good. It did good. Yeah, um, good. Especially with my boy Spidey. They did. A lot of people are saying out of uh, Nintendo out of Microsoft the big Sony, three, that Sony did the worst. Yep. Mm-hmm. Only yeah, because like the hard. first part took you out of it. Yeah. Then you had and you had very little announcements during it. Yeah, it was so short. Yeah. yeah. Like, felt like it. I, I was like, wait, that's it? I was like, and they're like, that's the end of the conference. I'm like, I know they're gonna announce shit later, but really? Yeah. I remember their conference is being I'm long. Actually, I can see no, why their conference is usually two hours. Yeah, and this this was like not around thirty minutes. I can I can see why Sony did worse because of what uh, uh Microsoft did with uh, a game that they've done for a while. I'm not gonna say what it is. And you'll let us know what it is yeah. from there. But I, I, I will rate it um, five babies um, inside of a t- inside of a tank. No, I'll rate it seven babies inside of a tank out of ten. What so about you guys? Three are dead? The, the other three are the ones that used up. I'll rate it seven babies inside of a stomach out of ten. <laughs> seven out of ten. Yeah, I think 7 as well. Yeah, 7 out of 7. Alright, we're all agreeing. It's 7 out of 10. And uh, let's make sure about this let's pizza. Let's get a lottery ticket. Before we move on. Oh, yeah. We're, 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 gonna, we're good on the pizza. Alright. So and, uh, yeah, so we have one okay. last yeah. part, and we'll come back to it. And I'm so happy that this isn't coming. Alright, head over. They're probably waiting on us. Yeah. yeah. Alright, we'll be here. Okay. We're back for the Microsoft one right now. Uh-huh. We were going in order of. I'm, I, I think we should just go in order of days. Okay. At this point, um, they showed stuff like Halo, Gears of War, Fallout, Division, Dying Light, Cyberpunk, and uh, the Dark Souls people made a samurai game. Um, oh yeah, Bear. Bear. Or G Song and Dance. You will see that later. First of all, Halo Infinite was announced. Um, look cool. Used to be my 343 industry, so it'll suck. Yeah, the trailer looks cool. It's something I'm not planning on getting. I'm not, like, intrigued or interested. Um, but I do want to see how they finish off the Master Chief story. Because this is probably the last thing of his. Probably. Um, I mean, if anything, they might just keep prolonging it. Yeah, but he loaded an AI into his um, into his helmet, possibly Cortana. Wait, uh, two point Cortana, which is corrupt, or the original? No. Oh, we don't know. Okay. Probably new Cortana. I think she's dead. Yeah. Oh, I have no idea though. I didn't play Halo Five. I really don't know. I, I stopped. No, she died four. at the end of four. I think. Yeah. Did she? And also because of this, it's gonna get really good, so I gotta do that. But I'm gonna put it on uh, low for now. Okay. Um. Then we got a new Ori uh, in the that sequel. <laughs> um. I I have the first one on Steam right now. But, uh, I really do want to see this game and what it brings. It looks cool. It looks cute. And it comes out in 2019. My th- my problem with my- a lot of the Microsoft stuff is that it comes out in 2019. Oh. Mm. Mm-hmm. Or later. Then how'd they beat, uh, Sony? Because they didn't have this weird-ass music that cut in and sort of... And, like, like, Sony is also 2019 or later. 
Dude, they just show less games than Microsoft. Mm hmm. And Microsoft, like, really came out and out and out with, like, shit. And they announced a lot of stuff. Okay. Sony just did something different, maybe because they. But Microsoft is, like, hiring a lot of, like, developers to make games for them. Oh, okay. So they can, like, mass produce more. So. Yeah. But uh, it comes out in 2019, and I wish <coughs> that it came out. I, th I wish that that came out this year instead. So they're like the mm, Disney for video games, for like productions. They're trying, okay. I guess. Well, they want to. Well, they, I think at some point they really wanted to buy Nintendo. Okay. I know that they want to buy Sega, EA. I thought they had the right. No. The Nintendo has the right to Sega, right? No, they just have like to make shit for people. Mm. Oh, yeah, just make shit for people. For oh, the most part, okay. I, I was. was you know about. what I was really surprised? Team Sega Racing was not shown at all during E3. All right, who wants to go with only two slices? I don't care. Neil, you want a third? Sure. I mean, you put it in the morning. Mm -hmm. Nick, you want a rock paper scissors for the last slice? You can have it. You sure? Yep. All right. Thanks. Nick must have eaten yeah, some pulp. sort of Burger King after work. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice is a ninja game from the maker of Dark Souls, and, uh, Dark Souls is fun, so, um, does this game say Twice? It makes you want to kill people, but, yeah. It makes you want to shoot yourself. That um, film. Uh, it's coming in 2019, and will also be on PC and PS4, obviously. What game? Uh, the Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. This wasn't the other samurai game. Well, the oh. people that made Dark Souls. Okay. Um, oh, so they're familiar. So they're probably going to make it dip, uh, difficulty pretty good then. But, like, I think they called it Ninja Bloodborne. Okay. But there was another Samurai Bloodborne that happened. I forgot what the name of it was. But, um, uh, I'm excited. Um... Uh, he has a grappling hook. Oh, we forgot to mention in the Sony thing that the grappling hook looked really cool. Like, you had, like, the two rocks, and you, like, slung it, slung it over, and then you could pull yourself up during, like, the, uh, Ghost of, uh, Tsushima. Ooh. Oh, it was a cool mechanic. Um, when you got Fallout 76, which we are going to talk about later, but it's set in West Virginia, and they have the song. I love that song. West Virginia... And this is where they showed that Captain Spirit game from, from uh, Square Enix's thing. Oh, okay. So this is what he actually looks like. Not that cartoon you saw. Yeah. And, um... I'll be right back. It comes out as a free download on June 26th. That I forgot. Oh, okay. Probably really on Xbox stuff. Um, yeah, yeah, probably. It's from the Life is Strange universe. I don't know anything really. But yeah. And we got more on Crackdown 3. I it's kind of just Terry Crews just trying to be funny. Oh, okay. That so, was like the Doomfist meme of him being to Okay. So, that's fair. I think this was like, this game would not exist if Terry Crews wasn't in it. Yeah. When when was the set Crackdown two? Two thousand like, or like Xbox days. Oh wow. Like Xbox three hundred and sixty. Wow. Then yeah. Neil, you know, would you like to pull it up on your phone, Crackdown mm -hmm. two, for us really quickly? And yeah, you're right. If it wasn't for him, this game would not be a thing. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, 2010. Oh. Eight years yeah. for a sequel. Nine. Nine. Yeah. Wow. This game literally would not exist 
without Terry Crews. Jesus Christ. That was for starters. Who, what's the, who's producing the game? I don't know, some guy for Xbox. Oh, okay, so it's, it's, a, it's like a small branch. The developer is Ruffian Games. Oh, I'm yeah. assuming it's the same developer for 2 and 3, and yeah. Probably. <clears throat> what other games have Ruffians made? I don't, not many, right? Um, I never heard of them. Either have I. Um, <clears throat> games. Crackdown 2. Oh, they only did Crackdown 2. Connect play three games. No three games. Oh. One of them hasn't come out yet. Two. Oh, okay. That's, okay. So Crackdown 3 is the other game? No. It's no. Connect Playlist. Play Fit. Yeah. Oh. Mm. So I don't know who's developing three. Ew. The Connect? Yeah. I thought that was. I thought they scrapped that idea after a year or two. <clears throat> yeah. Also, when this, Jack comes back out, this game has I just heard the door. Four developers Sumo Digital. Regent Games, Ruffian Games, and Cloud... For Crackdown 3? What's happening for Crackdown? So, we're just talking about Crackdown, and I said this game probably wouldn't exist or have the funding that it did if, if Terry Crews didn't voice act or may, and, and was the main character of this game. Oh, he's the main character too? Yeah, it's literally like, this is this is the Terry Crews game. Come on. Right? Yeah. Um... And literally, this guy looks like Terry Crews. Like, yeah, he probably put in a lot of money too. Jesus, I invested. Christ. Yeah, that looks like a bald Terry Crews. Cause he was desperate. Since Brooklyn Nine Nine, yeah. After that, after well, that. Well, is it, well, that's going to like Netflix or Hulu. Ooh. I heard Hulu. Yeah. yeah And uh, Metro Exodus looks cool. It's coming out in. Um, Should I just put this on the top? Just here. Alright. I'll deal with it. We'll deal with it in a bit. Um, uh, Metro Exodus looks cool. Um, I didn't play. Uh, I think it was uh, 2077. Or whatever it was. But, um. Where the last title was, I didn't play it. But. February looks like it's gonna be the month, like starting with Kingdom Hearts. No, probably like the Resident Evil Seven in like late January, going to like this. It's gonna be like the month for like the non Nintendo people. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um. Kingdom Hearts Two will have a Frozen World. Oh God. Oh, yeah. Frozen. And uh. If they're gonna if they're gonna have a frozen area, they better have the actual voice for God. Uh, what's the snowman's Olaf? Olaf's. Dude, Josh, uh, what's it? What's his name? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. If they don't, it's just like Disney does own the rights, so yeah, they can get that pretty easily. I figure. Well, I know um the guy who plays Phil in uh, Hercules does is not the voice actor on. That's probably though. That's like a pretty old movie. So like yeah. The same guy Though, the original actress for Alice did yes, reprise her role in the first game over yeah. 60 years later. Oh, she's shit. an exception, though. Wow, she is. The fact that she can still do that. Committed. Yeah. Cool. yeah, you're right. Fucking committed. And then you had for Horizon, Forza Horizon 4. Yeah, that's when, um, that's when Afro passed out. Is in Britain. Okay. Well, the reason the guy passed out is because uh, Aqua, the person from Birth by Sleep, is like a Zane or her person. Zane or okay. She's possessed. I mean, but it seems like she has, like, it is kind of her. But I can see her, it, her body is controlled. It's interesting. Um, yeah, well, this is interesting. Right she's giving herself over to become one. Yeah. There's some you don't know. And honestly, it will probably be con as, just as confusing as fuck as most of the story. But, uh, we also have, uh, yeah, Forza Horizon 4. I don't care about any other racing game other than Mario Kart. Yeah. 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 Consensus. 
And then here, Microsoft opened a new studio with a bunch of indies. Um, and uh, they showed off well, We Happy Few, which is the one with like the creepy oh, mask yeah. and like the smiles. And you have to take your happy pills. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We Happy now? Hmm. Or is that what it's called? We Happy Few. Yeah. Oh, We Happy Few. Okay. So yeah, it looks cool. <clears throat> and uh, oh, the division is going to DC and the division mm -hmm. two, and it looks like it, it's going to yeah, be better. Just more and we'll get into more detail during Ubisoft's. Actually, I, I like the first division. It's just yeah, yeah like you said. So um, would you uh, would you like to share with the class? Sure. It's a smash joke. Yeah. Okay. So iPhone T tweets out. I'm really excited for all of the 64 melee brawl PM and Smash Four players to finally come together and play Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. <clears throat> for one local before declaring that it sucks and going back to their respective games. Fair enough. Fair enough. You're not. You're not. Probably There's a not. 64 fan base. Yeah. Mhm. Mm Actually. Mm. Those are some elitists, man. Yeah. We're, we're at 65 characters. Is it 65? Uh-huh. Release really 65. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they have, like, a lot like more... The, like, numbered. Oh, Daisy's, uh, confirmed? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. She's, uh, an Echo Fighter. Okay. I'm telling you, my dude's Shadow's an Echo Fighter. I feel like Wolf's a Shadow character. No, no. he didn't have a national on his name. Neither did Falco. Yeah. He, oh. he, he's different enough. I think we'll that, I think. Okay, that's fair. Just, Zelda I actually do nice. not like Zelda's design. Really? I don't like I thought it was pretty nice. I don't know, I think her hair is stupid. I wish we had Breath of the Wild Zelda. I concur. <laughs> Best Zelda. Yeah, she, she'd look weird fighting, though. I don't think. Her design doesn't really match that. She, she looks like a child. Yeah. I mean, no. She, she, looks, like child. she looks like a child <laughs> adult now. Well, I mean, like, she looks like, oh, like an, oh, she looks like an looks overgrown like child. Yeah. They're just leggings she was wearing. I mean, those, you know, she can move. The, uh, yeah, but the Division 2 we'll talk about more later, but, uh, Shadows of the Tomb Raider, um, uh, like, she got, like, her artifact, and she basically doomed everyone. Oh, nice. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, stealth stuff, and it's playable. Comes out on September 1st. Oh, and then there's a new skating game called Session. Do we need a new skating game? I don't know. Tony's, uh, Hawk's thing was, was pretty good, I thought. Yeah. Just make another one of that, but they won't. But they did. They did like reserve the rights for, it and they keep doing it. Guys, Thanos will confirm for Smash. I hope so. <laughs> All you have to do is snap a finger. Devil May Cry Five was revealed at um, Microsoft. All right, is it that new shitty ass short black well, hair? Not no. Dante. That's for It's not Dante. Not Dante. No, Dante was at the end of the trailer though. Yeah, but he's not the main character. Is it his brother? Virgil? No, yeah. no, it's not Virgil. Are you sure I it's thought, not Virgil? I'm pretty sure it's not. The Virgil. short white hair dude? Yeah, I don't think it's Virgil. I don't know who that is actually, but well, Virgil has short blonde hair. Like yeah. really blonde hair. But I'm pretty well, sure. Well like Virgil. it's from like the apparently mm. there was a um underrated Devil May Cry four game. No, not underrated, terrible. Yeah, yeah like eight, eight. like the rebooted what? one? Yeah, DMC Devil May Cry. Uh -huh. No, That's not no. That's not what it is. Apparently, there was a Devil May Cry four, like an actual Devil May Cry four game. What's that? Yeah. I'll book it up. Yeah, I got you. You got it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently, it was in 2013 because I know DMC was definitely not 20 uh, during 2013. I mean, I know about Devil May Cry one through three, but I never heard of a four. So oh yeah, yeah it was out. In, oh wait. It got a lot of good. Uh, Steam gave it a nine out of ten. Gamespot gave it an eight point six. IGN gave it a seven point five. Yep. Yeah, January thirty first, two thousand eight. Wow. For the uh, PS three, the Xbox One, the Xbox three sixty, Microsoft Windows, and iOS. I don't yeah. remember hearing about Devil May Cry four because it probably was underrated, like Kyle said. Yeah. So apparently, so Devil May Cry five is something to look at. It comes out in twenty nineteen. Yeah. DMC Devil May Cry was terrible. Th this I've been hearing a lot of. So Cuphead, uh, the delicious last course, looks cool. You got a new DLC character and some new stages and bosses that are going to kill everyone. Comes out in 2019, and I'm very excited for this. Wait, what? Cuphead. Would you say something about the DMC? Yeah, no, this is oh, cool. Yeah, because, like, DMC, Devil May Cry, is not Devil May Cry. Devil May Cry, Devil May Cry. That's yeah. the stupidest thing. They actually poke fun at Dante's look from the original games, and every that is, like, the most hated scene in the game. 
he's like in like this wasteland and the wig that looks just like his old hair flies on his head he goes disgusting and he pulls it off and everyone was like really yeah you right. just made fun of the part we all loved about him like we loved his design you just said fuck you to us exactly. so then like they were like okay we can't make any more they don't like him so so that's one so that so that's why they made i guess the fourth one or whatever no that one came out after four. Oh yeah so that's why they made Devil May Cry 5, and now it's like... It seems it seems good, we DMC don't know. DMC Devil May Cry is in the numbered game. It's a re- it was supposed to be a reboot, but nobody wanted that, so now we got Devil May Cry 5. Yeah, they're like, we changed his hair color, and they were like, wrong. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but had, uh, Cuphead getting DLC. We don't know if it's... Um, it says the delicious last course, so that may be... It's only DLC. But still th- I still think it would look cool. It's gonna be cool. This one looks amazing. And we got Jump Force. The graphics. Neil has yet to show the fight. Neil will show us the gameplay trailer later because I haven't seen it either. But apparently, it looks like he talks. No, I've, uh, I've, no, I've seen the videos. They, they, they H- go on. H- H- James Thorne is garbage. James Thorne isn't good, and neither is it. It's just this trailer looks great. Yeah, but the, the actual tra- game looks like ass. Yes, That's just what it is. Like. I have not. Okay, and then there was Dying Light Two, um, Parkour, Zombie Outbreak. You know, generic zombie game yeah. with parkour. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I really don't know what else to say. Um, Wait, Battle Toads? They're yeah. bringing them back? Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah Dying Light yeah. 2. So, yeah. Um, Dying Light 2? Really what? Know. Battle Toads. I thought you said Dying Light 2. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Dying Light 2. Huh. Yeah. How about that? Comes, uh, I don't remember when it was coming out. Um, I, I mean, maybe I'll t- play it. Is it good? I mean, the first one was kind of Alright, so this one will probably be the same, but Tattletoads is coming out. It will have a couch co-op of three players, and it will probably be very difficult. It has to be. This is Battletoads, so... How about that? If it doesn't live up to the name, that's going to be disappointing. Yep, here it is. Just Cause 4 is real and has tornadoes. It got leaked through a via Steam ad, and, uh... Thanks, Steam. Yeah, and, uh, it comes out on December 4th. And, uh, that, there's no way in hell I spent $60 on this before Smash Bros. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, you buy, uh, you buy Smash Bros. first, and then whatever. No, you don't buy it at all. Yeah. yeah, that's why I said you buy whatever. Yeah. So, you see, EA announced Gears 5. I've been hearing a lot of that. This things. looks like an awesome trailer. After, I'd have to show you guys later. Wait, is that a spinoff, or am I reading that wrong? No, there are two spinoffs. There's the one. With, there's a Funko Pop mobile game. Yeah. Then there's Gears Ta- uh, Tactics, which was like an XCOM style game, like turn-based strategy, whatever. Oh. Okay. Gears Five stars the girl, not 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 the not, dude, not and you the, play as her, along with um the Dell, the uh, the other dude, in the game, and you and it's only two-player co-op again. Oh okay. And, uh, yeah, it's cool. And, like, it seems like this one's a lot more story-heavy than 4. Which really? was, like, yeah. Oh, big time. And then Microsoft includes at the end of the show that they're working on the next Xbox. Okay. Hopefully Wait, they Xbox call it X- X? No. This this is a new Xbox. Oh, this is a legit new Xbox. Or the, we okay. think so, at least, maybe. And then the Cyberpunk... Xbox C. Yeah, right? Mm-hmm. Cyberpunk 70, uh, 2077 is, like, looks so cool to me. That's the year the nukes drop in Fallout. That reminds- oh, wait, no, isn't... It? No, it's 2076, right? Yeah, for yeah, Fallout, no, that's what sorry. I call it. That, yeah, it's 2076. It's the tricentennial. The cover of that game reminds me of, uh... Sunburst. You have to like look, that. like, you people... We have... You have to look at this trailer if you didn't already. Okay. But this trailer was really cool. Um, it's from the people that made Witcher 3, and, um, with, for me, uh, I think if this is just gonna be Xbox, I don't know if it is gonna be it also be. PS4, but, um... Wait, you said it's by the Witcher, right? It's the Xbox? Is it? Dude, you can find the Loch Ness Monster before you do that. I mean, like, Xbox, like, the, like, on PC and Xbox. You're talking about an Xbox exclusive Xbox? Yeah, I know, you're never gonna find Loch Ness Monster is easier. Yeah. Well, I mean, past a certain point. Um, other than that, uh, Nier Automata, Sea of Thieves, uh, DLC, Battlefield was shown. 
Uh, we Happy Few, PUBG gets a new mode, Tales of Asteria gets their definitive edition, Master Chief Collection comes to the uh, Xbox Game Pass, and uh, they hit uh, Division, Elder Scrolls Online, and Fallout 4 are the, on the Game Pass now, and we get a look at a Zelda-like indie game called Tunic. Um, so, I don't, for Xbox, I'm going to give it uh, nine and a half, um, nine and a half weird ass, um, locust oh, okay. out of ten. What about you? Eight. Eight? What about you guys? Seven. I think they did really good for Microsoft. But, come on, to Bethesda. So... The guy comes out, and he says that this game was revealed Rage 2 by by their good friends at Walmart, who are known for their deals and keeping secrets because they're of their leaks. But Rage 2 looked really cool. It's like Mad Max. Um. Oh my god, fucking Andrew WK. That shit was funny as yeah, hell. Like Mad Max meets... Uh, Borderland, and it was like kind of like Borderlands Two ish okay. type of thing. It looks cool. Uh, we're really out in the spring of 2019. So this is like one of those, and then we got Doom Eternal, the sequel. Oh, nice. I'm really looking forward to that. Oh, I think. It, I remember. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, he was the one doing that rock and roll shit. Really? Yeah. yeah. Andrew WK. So yeah. I think it was a missed opportunity to not call this game Doom Hell on Earth. Mm -hmm. And they kept like even the guy was like, "You want to see Hell on Earth?" He's like, "Well, you just saw it." Yeah. I was like, why? I'm like, Doom Eternal, like, ah, no. Like, why Eternal? It should have been Hell on Earth, or at least just Doom 2. Or, if anything, Doom Eternal on Hell. On Hell? Well, I, well, I mean, like. Or, I don't know, that one seems kind of no, weird. Like, I get Eternal, on... like, they're always there, but, like, I don't know. I just think, I just think Hell on Earth is a perfect. Because that, because the whole thing with Doom is it always took place on Mars. Oh. But now, because the first one is on Mars, okay. it never made it to Earth. This Moral, one's on Earth, so you're so War will be shown Earth. at QuakeCon, oh. but I also think oh. this game is gonna be day one with the Switch. Probably, yeah. yeah. But Bethesda really likes the Switch too. What? I said probably, yeah. And Bethesda really likes not the only Switch that, too. but Doom did really good on the Switch. Did it? Well, yeah. So that's so that's all what I'm thinking. So, yeah. But, uh, we don't really know. We got a teaser. Prey got some DLC. I don't know what Prey is. I have no idea. Did you know about Prey, Jack? Yeah. Oh, that was a trailer where the guy kept looking at his eye and it kept getting worse. No, but, like, what is Prey? Do you know what that actually is? It's some guy killing aliens. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. a first-person shooter. You know, yep. what Bethesda does. Fair enough. Um, it, well, it, I think it came out to that night. Yeah. Then they had Wolfenstein uh, Youngblood, which is, um... DLC, right? DLC, yeah. For Wolfenstein 2. Yeah. So that's probably with Switch Day 1 as well. Get your head cut off in that game and survive it. Yeah, man. What? Yeah, they decapitate mm -hmm. you, but they have, like, this... This attack, they get your... They, like, trick the Nazis in thinking they threw your head into a fire. They get it, they put this machine in it. They basically restart your brain. They make you a metal body, like a... A robot body and you're okay, Hitler. Then, well, like no, not Mecha Hitler. It's just it's a regular looking body. It's just instead of organs, machine piece, and they just put your head on. Oh, okay. And then there's like the guy was like messing with it. He's like, oh, don't touch that. He's like, he's like, you might mess with me. Oh, it looks shit. cool. Yeah, but like you actually get executed. You get decapitated. They catch your head. They put a little thing in it to, and they like they put your head in a jar and they're like, all right, we only have enough. Uh, uh, Tech for one upgrade. Blink once if you want this one, twice for this one, three for this one. And whichever one you pick, it actually blinks that amount of times. So like, got it. And they're like, you can hear us. Oh shit. And they're like, all right, we're gonna put you under. When you wake up, you're gonna be able to walk again. Hmm. You take your head out and they put you on the thing, and they're like, all right, how's it feel? Wait, what's the benefit of like picking each one? One it? of them lets you compress your body for a short amount of time. One of them lets you like super jump, and the other one lets you like ram through people, like oh. like their tissue paper. Oh, okay. I thought I'd pick the ramming one. Yeah, everyone likes the ramming one. Yeah, but they're twin daughters, so uh, yeah. Oh. 
fun. Mm. And uh, Fallout 76 is an online game that comes out in November. Ooh. I think you can play it solo, though. Mm -hmm. It's like, um, um, what is it? It, it has, like, an H1Z1 feel, I think that's what it was called. Yeah, yeah, that's what a lot of people were saying. Oh, it's like an H1Z1 feel? Okay. And it's in West Virginia, as we know. And, uh, Todd Howard came out, and whenever that man comes out, you know that things are about to be announced. Shit's gonna happen. You know that's when that man's gonna announce Skyrim. And, uh, yeah, it's Borderlands meets Fallout. That was, that was, like, what, what this guy said. Um... Elder Scrolls gets a mobile game. That's like a real mobile game, not oh, like, like an actual mobile. Like game? an actual game on mobile. Okay. And uh, this comes out. It will be free, and it comes out in the fall. You can sign up for it right, right now on um whatever it is, um uh, Android and uh, Apple devices. And uh, yeah, it looks like Elder Scrolls, like a game for like Elder Scrolls. And uh, other than than that, I know you're really excited for Fallout. I am. I, like like you said, I'd be a little more excited for this one if I had, like, a lot of people to play with. I know you said you'd get it, which is cool. But, like, my cousin, he sold his PS4. So I'm like, uh... No. Why did he sell his PS4? He got sick of it. Why? Because he didn't like playing anything on it. He was, mm. He's someone who beats a game and doesn't really go back to it much. Oh. Especially if it's, like, very story-oriented. He just beats it once. like, eh, I have no reason to play it again. So he sold it. I mean, he makes it... He's more of a PC guy. Oh, okay. So he has yeah, his own he has Xbox. Okay. It's just that he's like, all my friends play on Xbox. I have no incentive to play on PS4. He's like, we don't play multiplayer games. Oh. Uh. So, you know, I'm like, ah, rats. And, like, a lot of people in my school don't you play PS4. And, like, they do. And, you know, and I know you're not a Fallout fan. So, like, I have Kyle. Yeah. Why are getting... everybody else Xbox, really? Yeah, well, that or they just play Fortnite. Which yeah. sucks. Uh, Starfield was announced. That was, uh, it's their, apparently their first, um, new their IP. first truly, um, new IP in 25 years. That's pretty intense. That's pretty good. And that's what he came out with, and it's a next, it's, he described it as next gen, so it's probably not coming out for a while. It's Starbucks, right? I guarantee no, you. That's with Ubisoft. Alright. Yeah. I, I guarantee you. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a first person shooter because that's what Bethesda does. Yeah. If it's not a shooter, it's first person. <laughs> Elder Scrolls is oh yeah, and Fallout. It's like I have a mean third person. Okay. Yeah. They show them in first person. There will be scenes in first person. Mm -hmm. Doom is first person, Wolfenstein is first person, Prey is first person, Dishonored is first person. Anything by Bethesda is first person. And the literally the dude games. closes out with with, it's literally the game that everybody's been asking about, Elder Scrolls Six. They show. That, yeah, that's, that's actually real. Yeah, no, I know it's real. You that, know what though? Someone made a really funny point. I was in the locker room, and there's a guy named Kyle. When someone mentioned uh, Elder Scrolls Six, he goes, "Yo, it looks like they made that in three minutes in Photoshop. It looks fucking terrible." I mean, I'm not gonna lie, like it's not flashy, but like I don't think it looks bad. No, I mean. It's not a final. It's also like literally either. somebody probably did do that because Todd Howard was like, "Let's announce it right now," and he's like, Should "Oh we, fuck, we need, we need something really big for E3." They right. probably realized they're like, "Fuck, we're not going in on Fallout 76 this year. They we're not going in on anything this year. We need to announce something." They just get like a fucking hat. They just put in all their ideas. And it was like, well, everyone's expecting Wolfenstein DLC. That's just how Bethesda rolls. And everyone knew Fallout was coming because they announced it two weeks before, which yeah. I don't understand why. No, if anything, they could have announced it like a week before and then went and, more and into Doom, it. And Doom, everyone guessed the Doom sequel. Because like, they made like a, they like hinted at it like a month ago. And everyone was like, don't fuck with us. That's And a Rage sequel. was leaked. And, and they Rage was leaked. So like, they're probably like, we need to do something. It's like, well, this game's not coming out for at least three years, so... Hey. Number six. I wonder what country it's gonna be in. But we'll probably get some news on it, unlike with, uh... Final Fantasy VII Remake. Yeah. They're not... They, like... A couple months ago, they said they just were working on the opening scene of the game. Only, uh... Old... They, that's what they were working on. That's it? Well, like, that's what... That's as far as they got. Oh my oh god. This game's not coming out until the PS6. Jesus. Anyways, um, uh, the Elder Scrolls card game is coming to Switch, um, Xbox One and PS4, Elder Scrolls Online, 
has DLC. Summer set. Uh, there are things that uh, got new trailers, and uh, the thing that was really funny was the Alexa-powered Skyrim Very Special Edition, which was also on a refrigerator. <laughs> so that that was really funny. But I give this one... Eight, holy shit, Elder Scrolls Six is coming out in announcements out of ten. I give it eight players in the lobby itching to nuke each other out of ten. Neil? Mm -hmm. What do you rate this? Uh... Yeah, ten. Yeah. Nick? Nick? Seven Michael Phelps out of ten Michael Phelps in the water. So we're on the same score as the Microsoft conference because everyone else gave me an eight seven. Why don't we have you Ubisoft Ooh. who opened up with the Oh ridiculous... God, furries kill them, kill them, <laughs> they, kill them. They started approximately appropriately ridiculous with Just Dance 2019 dance number. Oh. Oh, Kyle, I just want to let you know, Neil and I probably have to leave a few minutes earlier to make it for, like... We are yeah. trying our best right, to let's go, let's speed go, let's go. up. We just have Ubisoft and Nintendo. We're good. No. Yeah, no, 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 no. Nintendo's going to take a while. Oh, yeah. Fuck. All right, lightning round Ubisoft. This was, this was neat. Uh, Beyond Good and Evil had a great trailer, and the gameplay that they showed was pretty cool. Yeah, At least that's all I got. Playing from it, go, go Beyond Good and Evil 2. Cool. Good. Good. This dude... He's an actor. I don't okay. know who that is. Right, Joseph going. Joseph Gordon Levitt. He owns uh, money. I know him. I know him. Uh, hit is. hit record. You you can send in art, oh. music, um, uh, uh, other stuff to contribute to this game. And, but so the so it basically confirms this is probably not coming out till next gen. Yeah. Okay. Keep going. Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, Tri um, Trial Fusion. Trials Rising is coming out. Um, it's coming out in uh, February. And it's coming out to the Switch too. It's to, like yeah. all consoles. Yeah. Yay. Next. Division Yay. Two got new stuff. It said it will get raids and free DLC. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's the same thing as Destiny. Cool. It's pretending to be better. It's not. I mean, we don't know yet. The game is third person. I Destiny. mean, they're not they're not making false promises like Destiny. Yeah, but they're also making a game with the same quality as Destiny. <laughs> At least they're honest. Yeah, at least they're honest. Yeah, <laughs> That's important. true. Yeah. Mario Honesty Rabbit got, got Donkey Kong DLC. We knew about it's that. Donkey Kong. We, we but knew. also, it's it's a Rabbit Cranky Kong. We, we didn't know that Rabbit one. Cranky Kong. We did not know that we one. Didn't know. Know. That's why I said that. Skull and Bones got a new trailer. This is basically kind of like uh, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag with its uh, like little things that it does. Oh, um, it's a better Sea of Thieves. Yes, probably, maybe I don't know, but you're probably, but but you're yeah. See, rare, similar to the rare, blah blah blah. Has some hot pirates. I I really only noticed Wait, the hot pirates. I really didn't notice the hot pirates. They better be women. Transference is very creepy, and I really want to show you guys the trailer, but I can't. Okay, understandable. Okay, noted. Um, I'll send a link. You guys should watch it. Starlink Battle for uh, for for Atlas. Uh, th this is the next crossover. I guarantee you, every single year we're gonna see a new crossover yeah, with um, Ubisoft. Wait, what's this a crossover? Star Fox. Star Fox. Yeah. Fox McCloud. Uh, Mango Fox Nation. McCloud. Fox McCloud. Wait, really? Yes. Oh. Final yeah, destination. Yeah, Jeremy Noto right there. Starlink. Fox. Look at his Fox eyes. Fox McCloud. Fox McCloud. Fox McCloud. Okay, neat. Little thing comes out on October sixteenth. Oh, I'm pretty sure that this it's it's a it's a uh, toys Chinese DLC. Uh, there's a bunch of toys that that are being uh things on there and uh the okay, yeah. Okay, go on, go on. Okay, For Honor gets new DLC. And no one cares. Oh, breach. Assassin's Creed Odyssey gets no some gameplay. Hey, I hey, care. Hey, 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 no, no, hey, no, hey, no, no. Hey, hey. I care. I care. That series. I liked Origins. I liked Origins as well. I think it was in seventh rate Greek, and this is also Greece. But you also have like the power of Leonidas's a blade thing with fire or something or whatever. It kind of mm. looks cool. It's probably going to be a little longer. It's more of an RPG than um, action adventure thing. That's what they said. You showed. Which will mean they'll have one level up system that has no bearing mm. over anything. You can pick your abilities and put them on your character. You can uh, change the direction of the story if you talk to people. Um, hey. And it comes out on October 5th, which I think is too, which is too early, early for one, because I think that, that two years for development would work better than one. Alright, keep going. Or January. Um, I think that Ubisoft did good. Um, uh... And, uh, I wish that, uh, I, I don't know, I give it, um, 7.5, uh, no, pro yeah, I'll give it an 8. 
Eight. I wish that uh, when I when I first heard about Assassin's Creed Odyssey, uh, the uh, I, I thought I thought Cappy was gonna be named Hoodie. There was gonna be a thing called Hoodie, and you were throwing around people out of ten. You really made that joke, didn't you? No, I didn't make the joke. Everyone else made that joke. I just said the joke. Okay, I give it a seven enough. unnecessarily consecutive years of Assassin's Creed out of ten. Neil. Six out of ten. Nick. Ah. Uh, shit. Give it something. Seventeen. Awesome. Twenty. Everything Nintendo showed. Everything Nintendo showed. Oh God. Let's go semi lightning here. Okay. I mean, so let's just go fast. First of all, no point. No Why point. did it start with this? It showed off all their stuff. Yeah. Okay. First of all, you smashed last. Yeah. No, I was gonna say okay. Damon X Machina. Oh, I think it's just Demon. Looks cool. D okay, Demon X Machina. I mean, I, looks it's cool. Weird, but yeah, Demon X Machina. Actually, really it's cool. probably Demon Machina because it's like spelled like Hunter Hunter. No, well, no. With no, it was spelled E X. No, it was spelled X. No, it was X. Uh, no, it was just X. If you go, if you scroll down, um, a few things. Do they actually yeah, spell X Machina? E-X. Yeah, Demon X Machina. Yeah, no, yeah, he write E X. E X. Okay. It's supposed to be like Deus Ex Machina. Yeah. So Nintendo showed that. And um they used God instead of It looks cool. Demon. They had they yeah. had some uh, metal uh, music. Okay. Next, Xenoblade DLC. Okay. Yes. Yes. It takes five hundred thousand years. Five hundred years in the Five hundred years into the past. Samurai Jack. Back to fast, back to fast, Samurai Jack. Good show. Good show. Um But uh yeah, that happened. Fire Emblem. Hey? Hold on. They're, they're, they're Did we, wait, hold on. Fire Did we, uh, nice. So, doing. wait, hold on. Oh, they, they do mention this, but they don't mention uh, Dual Lock. You know, and, okay. Super Mario Party. Pretty neat. Once you play Switch. <laughs> they um, learned. It showed four people laying it on a table. It looked cool. Um, It's actually like you're walking around. Fuck um, that car shit where y'all share. Fuck that car shit. Fuck that car shit. Mm-hmm. Um, my only hope is that there's online play. Yeah, there has to. If it's on the Switch. Yep. If not, it's also it's very close to like the dates of um, the online. Oh, then, yeah, hell yeah, then it has to be online. It should, uh, yeah, but uh, Xenoblade Chronicles gets some DLC, and uh, apparently Jack finds it amazing. I don't it know anything really about uh, Xenoblade, so but I do have Xenoblade Chronicles two over there on in my Switch thing. Fire Emblem Three Houses is something we should talk about because it looked cool. Um, definitely better than Fates. I don't know. That one's up for debate. I still like Awakening. Awakening's cool, but, like, I don't know, the shit that's been coming out of that one, it's like, uh, you, we gotta be a little skeptical about that. For Fates? Which one? No, for Three Houses. We gotta be a little cautious here. They, they're going... Yeah, we're going in a way I don't like. I think it's over, no, it's it's looking like uh, Echoes and Fates had a kid. And I'm not a fan of that. It's like if Hitler and Stalin... Wait, Echoes and Fates, wasn't that the last game? The last two games, yeah. Yeah, last two and, games. Uh, well, we don't I really like know. Echoes. The half the fandom doesn't like echoes. Okay. So, so far, everyone is kind of positive towards this game. Yeah, true. Like I, I don't know. I'm, yeah, I'm like, what I'm well, seeing, like. Well, I mean, when you show up, when you were when you, when we were seeing the trailer, it looked like it was like uh, heroes, like Fire Emblem heroes. Warriors. Warriors. Yeah, that, that's another thing. I'm like, oh, why? That's that's supposed to be its own thing. I, I don't know. I'm. The more also, it might it, the be more like, like, oh no. Also, it might have split stories like, um, yeah, Radiant Dawn. I, I like the split stories because you get to see like everybody's parts. Yeah, but like if they that, don't intertwine, yeah, there's no point. That could just be in one game, like with with Conquest. And that, that's my. They split into like three. Yeah, so. Birthrights, Fates. Birthrights. Well, Conquest the reason they did that was because to milk us. Yeah, there's no that. excuse, and there was they no... can all exist on the same card. No, but the thing was download them. But the, and the thing about those three was they were no intertwining. I, I don't think. Not really. It was just version alternatives. Yeah. Yeah, but like the game could have played out with playing in a choice and that's that. Like, it didn't have to be two games for that. Like, Fortnite's out on Switch. Oh, Pokemon, that's the same shit. Yeah. Fortnite's out on Switch right now. So if you want to download it on your play? Switch. I'm still baffled at that game. I mean, if you want if you want to stay here I when when they, they leave, we can like get why everyone thought Minecraft was stupid. I'm I'm finally jaded. And can understand why these trash tier fucking fandom games are so popular. Give me bandies. Fuck off. Go play yeah. A, go play a good video game. 
Hollow Knight also came the Switch. Wait, has Holy Knight or Hollow? Hollow. Okay. No idea. Along what with what a mean. couple of other indie games, uh, Overcooked 2 was announced. Looks fun. Okay. Uh, yeah. Then it goes into Smash Bros. The fucking orgasm. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Basically, every single character every, in the game returns. My boy. Everyone is here. Size doesn't everyone. matter. Oh, how they gave That's why list when they could have just said everyone, like, no joke, everyone. If you played Melee, they're all there. If you played Brawl, they're all there. If you played Board, they're all there. We're all here. Can't wait to play my boy Pichu and Ridley. Yeah, so, um, Ridley, Ridley is now in the game, so that's probably the Metroid character. We're definitely getting a new Mario character because we're probably also getting uh, a new Fire Emblem character as DLC. We better get, we get Waluigi, yeah, my boy. Captain Toad. No, 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 no. What about Waluigi? We already have too many. We need Waluigi. Nah. We need Waluigi. He only, only showed us his trophy, though. Oh. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, they, yeah, they revealed that there were Echo characters, and Daisy is revealed as a character in Smash. Okay. A as a Peach She's clone. A character, yeah. She's a clone of Peach. Uh, so I think that we're getting Shadow as one. We also, there were there are GameCube controllers, and there's a bunch of Amiibo. And Ridley is the long-requested uh, Metroid Beast, and he'll be playable. Uh, other than that, um, there wasn't really anything. There was, I mean, we thought we were going to get uh, a new character in the tournament. Okay. There was not one. Anyways, also, Pokemon Let's Go to Eevee and Pikachu were recaps, basically, if for people who did not watch the Pokemon thing. Which, which on their thing. Um, Ki yeah, Killer, Killer Queen control. Black is also coming to Switch. So What's is Fighter Z. Switch? Killer Queen Black. Uh, oh, Fighter okay. Z is also coming to Switch. That wasn't on the Switch already? Then, then they also mentioned the new Octopath Traveler trailer, uh, demo is uh, on the eShop now. What, tomorrow? Mm-hmm. It also revealed that the Octopath uh, expansion is also there. Um, the the Octo expansion for Splatoon. Yeah. So essentially, my my feeling is that they showed a lot, but they didn't show enough. I don't. I disagree. I think because literally, because yeah, literally, all happened. they showed was Smash Bros. for the most part. That's yeah, all they like really needed to show. Yeah, that was like the no, okay. For like, Nintendo, I don't think that's a problem. Like, but, no, like remember every... how a lot of people were saying, like, oh, well, what is Nintendo going to have in 2018? Well, if, if we showed everything, like, if we showed our, like, our Prime 4 and our Pikmin and all that stuff here, then it would just be, well, what do they have for 2019? Pokemon, but that's it. But, like, we're like, all right, they have Smash. What else? Like, I, I feel like it's not a bad thing that they're, like, not just giving us a billion of everything. It's like they're they're actually. I figured that you would have given there would be something else. Though. I mean, I, okay. I I figured they wouldn't spend as much time on Smash. I actually prefer they did because like, like I I want to see Metroid and Pikmin, but I honestly don't care enough for if like they didn't show up. It, like I'm like, eh, whatever. For me, for Smash. me, Smash Bro, like, it's an, for me. I figured we were gonna get Fire Emblem and like. There's not a lot for me personally this year that's coming to the Switch, but you don't really need that. Yeah, for if it's just Smash Bros. to sell consoles. Yeah, Smash is enough. Smash, will, Smash will sell the 20 million that they're going yeah, to get. Yeah, Smash is always enough. So that doesn't really matter. So, uh, what's your guys' So so they're, so they're just trying to get people to give it to the Switch. My, so I'm giving it 9. Uh, holy shit, I can't believe these characters are back out of 10. Yeah. I'm giving it nine realizations that literally everyone is here out of ten. Yeah, nine realizations back of ten out of ten. Yeah. Nicole Che. Nine black albinos. Nine. Overall, what do you rate the C three? Uh, eight. Yeah, eight. 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 Eight white albinos. And who, who did won E three? Nintendo. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. For me personally, Nintendo. I mean, they pulled the smash. Just Again, I'm an outlier. I think Microsoft won. I feel because like they definitely had the best announcements overall. That's like, why, because for me, Smash it's about more of the announcements, but for you guys... Yeah, I'm with Kyle, actually, Microsoft. If, but for you like guys, that. because you guys are like, like you guys quality. love Smash and all, like, yeah, like, like you guys, you guys watch the competitive, 
or Neil well, at least watches that, the competitive. I, I just cared more about Smash than anything Microsoft. And like for me, I'm I also like, cared about a lot of shit they announced that Nintendo or like the big things, Xenoblade DLC. I thought Demon X Mark. Like I was good. very, I was, I was very, I like, I was very intrigued on a lot of the other stuff that wasn't Nintendo. Nintendo, like, oh, here's this, here's that, here's that. Smash Bros. I felt like the presentations were like super short. They're, for for this year. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I felt like one, no one talked to yeah. us. I'm well, gonna. I'm gonna. I, I do want to say something like though. The shows. Last. The show do I? Do I want? I just want to say last year. I feel like last year's E3 was better than this year's. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I remember yeah. more of last especially year. Because yeah, especially because Nintendo showed so much. Oh, but I think. But I think next too. year is gonna be the cool. year that Nintendo shows like that type of stuff. Yeah, yeah and I'm sure next year will be like Metroid, Pokemon. Probably but I think we got a few more. I think we have a few more announcements out of Nintendo's Treehouse tomorrow, or, and Thursday. Mm. Wait, I thought it was three days for the Treehouse. Tomorrow's day two. They'll probably do some 3D stuff in the Treehouse too. Well, yeah. Day so tomorrow, so when? Because today is day one. Th- oh, yeah. today's one for the Treehouse. Yeah, they when? they showed Smash Bros, Pokemon Go. Yeah. Let's go. Oh wait, we and watched no. the Treehouse. No, no we one. watched the Treehouse. Oh, you too. Yeah. Okay. And then and then Splatoon came up. Oh. And we stopped watching. Okay. Yeah. And then the, you came. The, uh, the Invitational was its own thing. Okay. Yeah. How do I watch the Treehouse thing? You just go on It's just YouTube. on YouTube. Oh, it's, it's just like a Nintendo thing. thing. It's just a really, like, oh, chill okay. version of, like, an announcement reel. They just show off shit that was announced and every now and again, like, oh, by the way. And yeah. then, but anyways, that was probably an overly long review, not as long as that fi- that two-hour fairy tale one I posted. What the fuck? All right, never mind. I'm not even gonna... You've already asked this question yes, so I many times, exactly Neil. I exactly why I'm not asking you. It still blows my mind every time I hear it. You don't understand how much my friend, like, defended Fairy Tale And how much I had to tell them, like, like, no. Hours? Wait, that, they defended Fairy Tale? Why? We had a lot We had a lot to actually talk about for Fairy Tale. It's like the dumbest thing, though. Like, You'd how? be surprised. I, I can't... I can't... My, I can't comprehend that. That's too much for me. But we're gonna go because... We have to rush this, and, uh, more or less. Yeah. And, yeah. uh, yeah. I hope that everybody enjoys the rest of E3, and I hope, and let us know, uh, what game you guys are playing. You guys, Smash, 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 yeah, 